is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are back with some brand new aew action figure news for you guys and it is about the aew supreme collection we got on here last week talking about the supreme collection if you guys missed that video well that's okay because i'm going to kind of cover the basis again because we actually missed out on some details of the photos and we have better clearer images of the supreme collection but pretty much aew's series one and two of that supreme collection has been leaked out we already knew what series one was going to be but we do have series two to look at today and i'm very excited for those things but also i wanted to run through some more details that we missed however if you guys did not know, AEW Supreme Collection, the new line of figures that is coming out, is actually going to be equivalent to WWE's Ultimate Edition line. The coveted, I'd say probably the most sought after WWE action figures to this point or, or at the moment. A lot of people have started big collections of Ultimate Editions and that's probably what we should expect out of these AEW Supreme figures. But there's a lot of things to discuss because there's some, I don't know, I want your guys' opinion on things and I want to know what you guys have to say about some of this stuff. So what we're going to do is cover Series 1 and 2 of the Supreme Collection, dive into those details, and then discuss those things that I'm concerned about. So starting first with AEW Supreme Collection Series number 1, you'll see here, guys, that we actually have better, clearer images of this series. You guys will see we have Britt Baker and Cody here on the screen. I like these. These images look so much better, man. They're so much more clear. We can actually see what's going on here. You guys can make out some of the accessories and things like that. So Series 1 of the Supreme Collection, or the Ultimate Edition AEW line, is is going to be Britt Baker and Cody. No surprise there. We kind of knew about that, right? We, we knew that that would be who they were. It's pretty obvious they're going to pump out at least one woman in the first set or the first couple sets, and Britt Baker is the most recognizable face in the women's division. They're definitely going to have to step it up, though. I feel like they have way more recognizable men characters than they do women characters, so they definitely need to do a better job of building that, because if they don't, we're just going to get Britt Baker over and over and over and over again. I'd like to see a Ruby Soho or something like that in this line eventually. However, you you guys can see the two different figures. You have Cody Rhodes and you have Britt Baker, but today we actually have a look at series number two, and I want to discuss series two, and then I want to get into some of these details that we left out, and then, of course, get into the concern that I have the most about. But let's go ahead and take a look at series number two, guys, and it's going to be none other than Kenny Omega and Malachi Black. This is actually a pre-order on GameStop. Now, I don't know if I, I don't know if this is in the system or if this is like in the store. I saw a bunch of different comments. I saw some people saying that you can only pre-order it in store. Like you have to go in the store and then tell them, I want to pre-order this item, and you have to put 5% down or $5 down or something like that. So if you guys want to pre-order these, I think you have to go to a physical GameStop. You have to walk your ass into the GameStop. Go to the person behind the counter and say, I want to pre-order these items, and then they can they can help you out that way, put your name down, all those different things. I honestly wouldn't do that. I've never pre-ordered through GameStop. I've never waited on figures, and I've actually gotten out of the game for pre-ordering from anywhere outside of Ringside Collectibles because these big box retailers like Target, Walmart, GameStop, anything like that, I have always had some issues with it. Not specifically GameStop. I've had friends that have had problems with GameStop, but Target and Walmart, they end up always canceling my order and I end up never getting the ish that I order so that's just something to rant on about right there if you guys have an experience with that please let me know down in the comment section below but you guys will see here we have AEW US Wave 2 Kitty Omega and Malachi Black pretty insane stuff going on you guys will notice also that it says uh, in the rest of this thing if you're wondering how I know this is a supreme collection is because it also has series 1 up there and it says Britt Baker and Cody Rhodes and it says Z collectible or something like that down there so this is pretty interesting man this is this is kind of the series that I would have liked to see for series 1 to be honest with you I think Malachi Black and Kenny Omega would have been a way cooler series 1 because people would have it would have really got people engaged in the lines straight off the off the cuff and maybe Britt Baker could have came later and Cody we have so many of I know people want to see more Kenny Omegas we really don't have that many when you look at the grand scheme of things like really good Kenny's we only have two really good Kenny's I'd say I, I don't really count series 1a and series 1b and then you have the ring exclusive like yes those are solid they're solid Kenny Omegas but they're not as good or near the level of the series 4 unrivaled or the series 1 unmatched so I would really like to see more Kenny's and here we have that with the Supreme Collection so Kenny Omega being in there is insane. And then Malachi Black's first figure coming in this Supreme Edition is going to be insane. I imagine him being really, really cool. I imagine him coming with a mask and the robe and the short. Like, it's going to be a really, really sick figure. All of his tattoo detail 
he should be really great as well. Love Malachi Black and his figure should be off the off the hook for sure. But the main thing that I wanted to get on here and discuss, not only with the Wave 2, which is really sick. I'm super happy to see Kitty in this wave. Super happy to see Malachi in this wave. But the one thing that I wanted to talk about is the price point of these. $42.99 here on GameStop. What do Ultimate Editions retail for? Do they go for $29.99 or $34.99? I want to say on Ringside when they first release, aren't they like $39.99 or $37.99? or something like that. I, let me go check Alexa Bliss and The Fiend right now that just came in stock. That way I'd actually have something to base myself off of. So let's go over here. Shop Now Ultimate Edition. Go over here to Ringside Collectibles Ultimate Edition 12. And okay, so $37.99 for a brand new Alexa Bliss Ultimate Edition. I don't know what the pre-order was. I don't know if that's... If you guys pre-ordered Alexa Bliss, can you please tell me down below what you paid for the pre-order? And then The Fiend is up for $36.99 right now. So that is... Uh, that's $5 more than what Ringside Collectible has it posted for. I'm really worried to see what Ringside will have them at when they first go up, you know, to get your first dibs on these. $42.99, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing they're going to be like $50 a piece, right? That looks like it's going to be around $50 plus for each. That's $100 a wave, which is not really... I mean, that's not the biggest deal if you look at, like, a full Unrivaled collection. It's, what, like, 140 maybe 150 or something like that. But you get, what, six figures? So, I don't know. Uh, and that's probably why they're not going with chase figures. At least I don't think they're going with chase figures just yet. They may end up dropping some chases on us. I think it'd be cool to see some chase Supreme, co you know, collection figures. And I'd also think it'd be really sick to see some ringside exclusive Supreme editions. But Kenny Omega and Malachi Black being in the Supreme Collection Series number two, I want to know what you guys think about that. Let me know what you think of the price point and just think that is that's crazy man like so if we're gonna get, if it's gonna be $42.99 at retail price like if I go to Walmart and they're gonna be $42.99 or Target and they're gonna be $42.99 there's gonna have to be a shish ton of things that these things come with right I mean like they're gonna have to be really supreme quality they're gonna have to have really great accessories you're gonna have to really blow us away I think if you want people to pay the $42.99 price point which dives into the details that I wanted to get into with you guys if we go over here to the Cody figure and we zoom in. I want you guys to see this. Uh, if we go to the Cody figure, you guys will notice in the middle of the packaging, it is Cody. He's got like his nice long coat on. I don't think this coat is going to be cloth, okay? I just don't see that because he does have interchangeable arms, right? Like, he's going to have interchangeable arms, which are the sleeves for this jacket because this jacket had sleeves on it. So if that were the case, I would guess that these guys are going to have the butterfly joints. You can take their arms out like the Ultimate Edition, pop in the jacket arms so that it looks like he's wearing the entrance gear similar to the Ultimate Edition Edge and things of that nature that we've seen. He also has two interchangeable head sculpts, interchangeable hands. He has the interchangeable jacket arms like we said. But if you look on the left side of the packaging, you will see that it has interchangeable legs. So we knew that we we're going to get interchangeable legs somehow, but I didn't know that they were going to throw a whole crotch piece and tights in there and how the, like exactly what that meant. But essentially, you're getting two figures in one. So you're going to get two different gears or tires, two sets of boots, two sets of tights, and now you have two separate figures in one. So I, if I don't like the blue gear, I can pop the waist off of the Cody, and I can pop the black tights up in there. And so if you wanted to get, you know, I was talking with my buddy the other day about this. If you want to have, you know, the, the Cody in the blue, and you also want the Cody in the black for your display, then you have to buy two of these. Well, that's $42.99 times two. And then if you want one in your mock collection, that's a whole nother deal there. So you're essentially possibly going to be paying $150 per figure per wave. So that's $300 if you want one mock, one in one gear, and one in the other gear, you're looking at like $150 per figure per wave every single time that a figure releases. I know it's only two figures, but if you want, you know, for your display, I'd like to be a completionist here in this AEW figure wave. So if I'm going to do that, it's going to be very difficult because that's a lot of money, especially if you add in the Unmatched collection and the Unrivaled collection and the exclusives. Adds up very, very quickly, not to mention the Amazon exclusives, not to mention any two packs or any craziness that we get out there as well as the Supreme collection. So it's it's going to be very difficult. If you're planning on being an AEW completionist, it's just ramping up here, man. It's definitely ramping up, not to mention all the chase figures that guys are missing. So it's it's pretty insane. But $42.99 for one figure is insane. Is that is that justifiable 
if you get the full if you get two figures in one is it justifiable to have a $42.99 price point if you split that in half it's around what the retail price of one AEW figure so I do get it you do get two in one there you get the interchangeable heads and all these different things going on so I don't know man I want to know what you guys think down below do you think that's outrageous what do you think of Kenny Omega and Malachi Black being in the wave I think it's great I think it's excellent I'm excited for Malachi Black I'm very excited for Kenny Omega hopefully they pick good gears hopefully they get good you know good art articulation i hope these joints are super tight i hope that the head sculpts look incredible i hope we get some brand new stuff great you know interchangeable gears i hope they go with two gears that are fantastic some head sculpts that look identical to them i just hope that they knock these out of the park so 42.99 just looks like a freaking you know a penny because i'm just so excited for the figures hopefully that'll be the case but i had to get on here and discuss these things because it is insanity but that is going to wrap up today's video, man. Had to get on here and discuss these things. Let me know what you think of the price point. What do you think of Kenny and Aleister Black or Malachi Black being in Series 2? Let me know all the things down below, man. What do you think about the, the whole three figures or two figures in one? Let me know all these things down in the comment section below. Really want to discuss it with you guys, so definitely leave me a comment. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like the retail price of these Supreme figures. I hope to God they're Supreme when we get them in hand. You cross the line, I've been